off easily. The collar is one inch wide, so I'm making the casing a little bit bigger to make it easy. If I made it exactly one inch, it would be too squishy and maybe not go on. If you're doing this in centimeters, maybe allow an extra centimeter. Now I'm drawing a dotted line because that will be my top stitch. Okay. And we worked out that we wanted this at six inches. So I'll find the middle. So what was half of 10? That's five. I'll do the same there. So I'm going to bring this down. Remember we wanted it six inches all. So I'm going to bring it to that point there. And then what we'll do is we'll do that to one and a quarter there. And that's one and a quarter there. And then I'll just join the lines there and like that. Now you can have that shape, any shape you want to. If you want to make it a little bit curlier, you can do that. This is going to be on a fold. So I'm going to write here, fold. So I have a ruler here. So that's one centimetre there, one centimetre. So keep going along and measuring one centimetre like that. And then just join the dots when you've done that. Okay. There we go. So try and be really frugal with your fabric and cut. So if you have them, grab a few pegs and hold the fold. I'm going to copy the shape onto my fabric like that. Choose a colour that's going to show. Fingers in the long hole and thumb in there. And the reason is because if you look at your scissors, don't put your fingers there, there's always a flatter piece there and a sharper piece there because when they close, they work better that way. Here you go. Done. I think that looks good. First, what we're going to do is fold this over twice. So once and two, it's about half a centimetre, can you see? That's about half a centimetre fold and then I folded it again by half a centimetre. Pop some pegs on there. If you don't have pegs, don't worry. Let me show you what we can do with pins. One and then two. Put a pin in like this. And again, it could be quite tricky if you're not new if you're new to this. Push your pin in, push it all the way to the back, and then push it back into your fabric. And I'm using my finger to push the pin into the fabric like that. Alright, right. so I do not want to sew on those pins. And I'm going to push the needle so it hits not the end of the fabric, but the end of that corner. So where that corner is folded in, I'm gonna keep my fingers on the fabric, pull that pin out so it doesn't unfold. Just walk them along a little bit and push the fabric in and just carefully from underneath, just watch where that needle lands and that hopefully that needle lands on the fabric and it has, I don't know if you can see, it's landed on the fabric, on the fold. So then I can put the presser foot down and then I can do my three stitches to lock this. One, two, three. All right, so there we go. Three stitches forward, three stitches back. And I'm going to take it slow up to here. Now making sure I'm looking inside there to make sure I hit that needle on the edge of that fold. Right, we're coming up to the pin, so I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to leave my finger on the fabric, pull that pin out, and carry on. Just show you if I can. There, there we go. So I'm not going over the fold, the folded piece, and I'm going to do a reverse. Three stitches back. 
And don't worry too much if you do too many. And then turn the hand wheel towards me and lift the hook right out. Then we can lift the press foot and then we can pull on the threads, pull them out and hook them around the knife and chop them away. And there you go, there's your first row of stitches. So what you're looking for, all that row of stitches being close to that fold so it doesn't unfold like that. And we're going to trim those threads. So pull that top thread, just pull the top thread up, push the fabric with your scissors and snip. We're going to do the same on the other side. So now that's done, when we work on fabrics we're sewing, we always sew good sides together. If I sew like this and sew along there, you'll see the raw edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over, over and I'm going to bring that down and match those ends there. I'm going to put a peg there. I'm going to do the same on that side. Match those ends there. like that and peg that we're going to sew one centimeter now the magic is you can actually draw one centimeter along there so you follow a nice straight line and again I'm going to do this in this blue pen and I'm not going to worry All right and then just draw that straight line we'll have to move that peg out of the way and then just match those dots. Can you see those dots? Like that. There we go. Put that peg back in. Don't want it to move. Mark one centimetre. Just make sure everything's matching up. If it's not matching up, just fiddle around with it until it's all matching up. There we go. See that cross there? That's my pivot point. Okay, same thing. Make sure our threads are at the back. Make sure that hook is at the top. And I'm going to pla place the needle so that it sits on that line. But this time I'm gonna make sure it's on the edge there so it catches both these folds exactly. I'm gonna put that down. Now, can you see one centimeter? One centimeter is exactly where that edge of the fabric sits on the edge of that foot. So really, I don't really need to draw that line, but it's good to know. So we're going to do three stitches forward and three stitches back. Let's, let's lock that together. One, two, three. Oh, I think that was four. Make sure I go all the way back. Doesn't matter how many I did, but make sure you go all the way back. And then just stay on that line. Now, if you're really good, you'll follow that line between the gaps there. Now, it's really important you don't stretch your fabric. When you cut on a diagonal, the fabric becomes really stretchy and it changes shape. So be careful not to pull the fabric, okay? And if you do find it easier, just put some pegs in there to hold it together because it's all coming apart. Can you see? So I'm going to just follow the fabric along the edge there. Okay, take that peg out. I'm coming up to the pivot point. Leave my needle in when I get to that pivot point. Lift up the presser foot. I'm going to swirl that fabric around push that down and I'm going to follow that line again. Now the feed dogs are doing all the work. I do not need to push the fabric or pull it. I'm just walking my fingers as it feeds through. And you can keep your fingers well away, can't you? 
So get all the way to the end and do your lock stitches. That was three. And that was three forward. So turn the hand wheel towards me, lift up that hook to the highest point, lift up the presser foot and pull the fabric out and grab those threads and give them a swipe over there. Angle there. I'm going to trim that fabric away, but I'm not cutting the stitches. Can you see? So cut some of that fabric away, don't cut the stitches. And then you've got to be really clever and pull everything out through here. So I'm going to just put my thumb in, grab that corner, push it through one of the ends that we've got as a hole, put it all the way through. So I'm going to use a pen, but I'm not going to bring the ink bit out. Okay, and just get everything out. There we go, so that's the other end where the belt goes. Okay, so I've got the front side there and I've got the back side here. And on the back, I'm going to match that straight bit with that straight bit there. So just draw a straight line along there because that's our sewing line. Okay, and we're going to sew along that line. We're just going to sew along that line. So put the needle in, put the needle in, three stitches forward, remember that. One, two, bit, bit funny. And then just go all the way to the other end. Stay on that line. When you get to the other end, three stitches back. Three stitches forward, hook to the top, and then press the foot up, and then there we go. Just neaten all those threads away, cut them. Look, come on then. I just need to feed this through the collar and just carefully place that through the channel. Make sure you've, you've got it the right way around for your dog. Just need to go and put it on to Daisy now. Okay, somebody's really excited. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>